Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to have you here with me today. In this video, I'm going to be reorganizing my laundry room. It is a hot mess. I need to get in here and I need to dust, clean the washer and dryer off. I will not be doing any laundry in this video. This is just a organization motivation video. Um, I might throw a load in, but it's, it's not gonna be, you know, like my usual laundry videos. So, um, I hope that I'm able to bring you lots of motivation. Please sit back and watch me try to organize this mess. I've got this feeling. I'm feeling you could be the one. I see no reason why I should ever let you go. Mm. I don't want to wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me Don't wanna wake up, no, I don't wanna wake up I don't wanna wake up without you, baby, without top shelves kind of looking better I had okay so I organized again underneath my cabinet and in the kitchen and I just had a lot of um, chemical cleansers that I don't want to use like uh, scrubbing bubbles um, some bleach and some other things that I just did not want to use in the house so I put them in a bin one of those fabric bins and I stuck it up there that's what I've been wanting to do with it. And it's just kind of been stick. Uh, it's just kind of been sitting in the kitchen. And then I found a whole stash of Mrs. Meyer stuff. So I'm super excited about that. I thought it was out or running, getting low. Um, I found some hand soap, which we need. And I found some, um, laundry detergent packets. I'm going to start using those on Seth and Bella's clothes because they both have eczema and, um, Seth's eczema is horrible, but I'm going to start using these. They're just the laundry detergent packs. And this is in Citrus and Woods. So, mm, it's okay. It's not my favorite, but it's okay. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to try that and I'm going to dry their clothes with dryer balls with some essential oils instead of using the bounce fabric softener sheets. Um, I can still use those in mine and my husband's laundry, especially my husband's because he works around copper and plumbing all day long and um, his clothes really need to be sterilized every, every week that I wash them. So what I'm going to do now, um, I'm going to, I found two oxes of Kleenex. I'm going to put those in my office. I mean, my bedroom, I found some hand soap. I'm going to put it in the kitchen 
and um, I'm going to get a bigger bowl for our snacks um, because our kids like to take snacks to school. Um, they, ever since USDA took over and said, okay, everybody can have free lunches, they really don't feed my children the way that I would want them to be fed for lunch. Um, I think yesterday they got a crispito, and if you know what a crispito is, it's a tiny little thing that's about the size of a taquito that you can buy in the store. So, um, every day when I pick my kids up, they're immediately starving and we have to rush home and get dinner cooked. And in the beginning, I would cook dinner, I would start dinner at noon so that by the time I went to get them and brought them home, I would have food ready for them. And I'm going to have to get back into the, the habit of doing that. I've kind of lack, I've kind of slacked because of my back, but I'm going to need to get back into the swing of things because, um, my babies are starving when they get home. I'm also picking up my friend's child every day and um, he's starving as well. So he eats, he eats with us um, every night, basically. And um, whether we go, whether we buy out or I cook, he's eating with us, which is super, super fine. Um, I have one rule in my house when we have visitors, no one goes hungry, no one starves. If you're hungry, you, I will feed you. That is my rule in my house. <laughs> so um, without further ado, I'm going to kind of see what I can do with these shelves up here because I just have random boxes everywhere and I kind of want to make it look just a little bit neater. There's not a whole lot I can do because um, like the big boxes I have are, are boxes with smaller packs of crackers in them and I don't want just crackers flowing everywhere. So, um, and if I put them in a basket, they'll never get eaten. Nobody knows what's up there so they'll never get eaten. But I'm going to do that, and um, there's cereal in here that I'm gonna have to throw away because it's been in here way too long. Um, and just some more snack stuff that I need to bring down and fill this basket. I'm gonna get a different basket so I can put more in it. Um, so let's get started. So this is the basket I got. This is the basket I had. So it is a little bigger, a little deeper. Um, it's not the one I wanted, but I think I've got stuff in the one that I wanted, but, um, I've got these bags of chips down here that nobody wants to eat, but I'm not going to waste them either. My husband will have to eat them, I guess. So actually this did work out. I put some chips in this chip ba basket. So I've got some chips and then just snacks. And what I'm going to do now, I've got to get up there I gotta get up there. I need those Rice Krispie treats and I need the cheeses. So I'm gonna try to empty the. Jumping from cliffs so high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. Searching for my highs. Okay, so as you can see, I have three baskets of snacks. Um, I, some of you are probably saying, okay, that's way too many snacks for your children. But honestly, you guys, USDA, ever since they took over, yeah, we get free lunches. We're very appreciative, but I'd rather pay and my children get you know, a, a, a good lunch, not just a little crispito thing that doesn't even fill them up. And then, then they're crying when they get home because they're so hungry. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move some of these drinks around and I want all the baskets to go here with snacks because up there they cannot reach them. They don't know, look in there. And I found, you know, I found pudding. I found, um, 
some fruit balls and we do have boxes of fruit balls we buy in, we buy in stock you in bulk you guys so um so when we go to sam's well my husband mostly goes to sam's but when he goes to sam's he makes sure to to pick up the things that we need now i do have to make him a list and he's pretty good about getting everything on that list so now i'm going to fix these drinks up and try to get them maneuvered them a little bit better um because i need room for the snacks Time is time. 
we are coming up on the end of this video i hope that i was able to provide you with some kind of motivation today to get up and take care of whatever needs to be taken care of i hope that you enjoyed this video if you have not already please subscribe and please give my video a thumbs up and leave me a comment i love hearing from you guys and if you give me a thumbs up it always helps my channel with the um algorithm so I will see you guys at the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. to be the one you can trust.